Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this demo, I am going to demonstrate how using AWS Code Pipeline, you can build, test and deploy your application to an EC2 instance whenever the code in the code commit repository changes. I have logged into my AWS management console. Let's go to the code pipeline. Click create pipeline. Let's give the name to the pipeline, demo pipeline. We need a new service role. So this is going to be the role name. And we are going to allow the AWS code pipeline to create the service role and use in this new pipeline. And then click the advanced settings. Uh, so here we need to select the artifacts store. So the by default, it is a default location, which means for this pipeline, it is going to create a new S3 bucket and use it. And if you wanted to use, if you are going to have multiple pipelines, it is always advisable to use a custom location so that uh, multiple buckets doesn't get created. And then uh, the encryption key. So the default is using the AWS managed key, but you have any customer managed key. You can select that option and provide that. Click next. So now we need to add the source provider. Uh, so we have the option to add either AWS code commit, ECR, S3, Bitbucket, GitHub server. So in this case, our source code is in AWS code commit. So I'm selecting AWS code commit. Provide the repository name, branch. And how do we detect changes? So the recommended option is using the Amazon CloudWatch events, but even you can use AWS code pipelines. So in that case, AWS code pipeline on a frequent basis, it pulls and see if there is any changes. But the disadvantages of it is right. If you have uh, specified the poll duration as 30 seconds, uh, there is always a chance of having some delay of 30 seconds, right? And the output artifact format, we will be the AWS code pipeline uses the default zip. So we'll leave it as it is. Then click next and the build. So here we are going to use the AWS code build. So select AWS code build and the project name, the demo S3 build. And this is going to be a single build. Click next and the deploy. So here we are going to use the AWS code deploy. So select that the application name is demo application and the deployment group is demo development instances. Then click next. So we have created a code pipeline configuration. Now let's click create pipeline. So the pipeline has been successfully created and it has been triggered. So that's why you're seeing AWS code commit in progress. So the source phase AWS code commit phase is successful. The build stage is in progress. Since the pipeline is created for the first time, it uses the, the last commit. And then it has triggered the build with that. So the build stage also has succeeded. Now the deployment is in progress. The deploy stage also succeeded. So now let us go to the EC2 instance and check our application. Instances. Let's copy the public DNS ID. We can see our application is successfully running on an EC2 instance. Now let us go and validate the, our automation, which we have done through the code pipeline is working fine by doing some code changes. Let's go to the code commit. So I am going to update the index.html. Currently our application has the false images, which is displayed first. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to display the snow images first and then the false images. Commit the changes. The changes has been successfully committed to the main branch. Let's go to code pipeline, pipelines. We can see that source AWS code commit is in progress, stage is in progress. And the source stage succeeded. And the build stage is in progress. The build stage has succeeded and the deploy has started. So deploy also succeeded. Now let us go and review our application. Yeah, we could see the changes what we made in index.html is getting reflected here. 
In this demo, we have seen how using AWS Code Pipeline, we were able to trigger a code build and code deploy whenever the code gets changed in the code commit repository. Thanks for watching the demo.